Good morning, y'all, and welcome to the vlog. I decided to start vlogging today, um, even though it is Sunday, just to take you guys through my week as I usually do. I'm getting started with getting used to like a routine, and every time I've implemented a routine and shown it to you guys, I've always done it either when I had just one roommate and then when I had my apartment. Um, but now I don't have that. I'm living with my mother again for the summer, and is this is like a two-bedroom apartment. Five people live here including a baby so I figured it would be interesting to show you guys how I go about getting kind of discipline setting a routine and getting disciplined with a routine in like a busy household I just got back from going grocery shopping you guys know we're working that nine to five now and um I need to have food around I'm back to just my regular ve veganism meat is done dairy's done all of that um so I had to go grocery shopping so I was just going to go shop on instacart which is what I've been doing for the last year uh, and I did that um when I first got here but then I remembered that I used to have this routine where I would go to the 99 cent store first shop for all of my necessary items usually things like fruits veggies all my canned goods um snacks because they have really good vegan snacks and also frozen uh, fruit because it's a lot cheaper there than any other place and then whatever I need after that I would go get at like I don't know Trader Joe's Whole Foods whatever and I did that today saved so much money and apparently the Dynasty store has an app now uh, where you can get like a like coupon so the cashier just used the coupons for me and went from like like $80 to $70 and then I just went to Target and got the meat substitutes basically because you guys know I've been trying to get more into getting more protein into my diet um, I was planning on just doing maybe like fish once a week but I was watching some videos over the last couple of days and I think I'm just going to try and do it through like a plant-based vegan meat beans all of that and see how it works for me a little cut away from the vlog to talk a little bit about therapy and thank today's sponsor better help you guys already know that i am a huge advocate for therapy i talk about it almost all the time on this channel and whether there's something that is interrupting your happiness or preventing you from reaching your goals i think therapy is really the number one most important form of self-care that you could do for yourself and those around you so better help is not a crisis line it's not like a self help thing it's literally professional counseling done securely online and you get the option to talk to over 15,000 plus licensed therapists even those that are not in your local area which is specifically why I chose this one and it's way more affordable than traditional therapy after a little quiz better help assesses your needs and matches you with your own licensed therapist who you can start communicating with within 48 hours you can log in online at any time and send a message to your you're a counselor and what I really like about BetterHelp also is even though you can schedule like a phone session or a video session you also have the option of doing like just text messages if you're not comfortable with being on camera it's been really great to be able to find a counselor that uh, fits with me and talk with someone about all of the uh, law school drawbacks that I've gotten such as you know post exam anxiety which I've mentioned before things like PTSD like symptoms from being unable to relax due to law school and just imposter syndrome in general and even with starting this new internship being able to talk to my uh, counselor about all the things that I'm seeing at work and how they may be affecting my past experiences and the way that I'm thinking um, it's been uh, great for me and really relieving to talk to someone who's unbiased and can just listen to me who I can just vent to and get really solid like advice and coping methods and um, a way to just help myself so if you're interested in therapy visit betterhelp.com slash leandroyemo that's better help h-e-l-p and join over a hundred million people who are taking charge of their mental health by talking to a licensed professional you do get 10 percent off if you use my link and that will be on the screen and also in the description box below thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and back to the vlog so these are all the things that i got solely at the 99 cent store minus a couple of canned goods and it's a lot for uh the price that i was able to get it at obviously like i said you can get your veggies you can see all of them here you can get your little fruit 
berries. I have these cherries. That was literally 99 cents, which is insane. You know, when you go to like Sprouts or Whole Foods, they're like, yeah, we'll take a soul of the innocent for the cherries. Thanks. Um, so I'm happy about that. And some um, grapes. I also found some really cool vegan items there that I wasn't expecting. So plant-based cheese, never seen it before at the store. Never tried this one before, obviously. So we're going to try that. They also had this Boca... Uh, original chicken veggie nuggets and it's pretty high in protein about 14 never tried this before also so we'll go with that also found this um coconut water and this is like the good kind it's not the one with a whole lot of sugar in it or anything like that it's like the legit good coconut water so i bought four of those because i love me some coconut water and they also had uh oat milk which i've never seen them have before and they had this brand it's called plant folk and i got the oat milk and i got the almond milk here are the little frozen fruits that i was talking about and they also had this meatless um burgers and this is also really high in protein it is about 21 per uh patty and 41 for the whole entire container which is really good i also got a bunch of these like ready-made chop kit salads this is like the asian one it's my favorite these are usually like what four dollars at other stores i got this for 99 cents and it was 50 percent off so i bought a bunch of these just to take to work because we have a kitchen and we have bowls and stuff so i can just mix everything there and then the things i got at uh, target was just like i said the meat alternatives i decided to get the beyond meats because i had it when we went to joshua tree and it is usually really high in protein so i got these ones, these are the meatballs, the Italian style, 19 grams of protein, um, and you know, just regular, just firm tofu. I got some down here. We have some seitan. I think that's how you say that. And this is also pretty good in protein, about 17. Yeah, about 17 grams of protein per serving. So that's really good. And again, just my usual like coconut uh, milk yogurt alternative. And also some tempeh. Biggest mission now is to find space in the fridge to make these things all like fit. Um, like I said, four adults live here with four with me included. So I'm gonna try to find a space, maybe clean some things out because they don't do that here <laughs> and um, put my stuff away. I also want to just go ahead and juice, like do a huge batch of green juice um, for the next couple of days, next three days, because I want to go back to drinking my celery and kale juice because my skin was popping when I was drinking that and um, I'm going to get back to that. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, we are now later on in the day. I was watching my niece while I was trying to do everything this morning, including like making my juice and I love her. Uh, but she also makes me want to put in another IUD just, just in case, you know? Essentially what I'm going to try and do this week is just get back to my routine before finals um, because I had a really good steady like self-care spiritual uh, like rituals routines working for me during that time and then finals hit and honestly I haven't done anything since finals I've meditated a couple times but nothing has been like regular like I usually like to have it um so I'm trying to get back to it this month of June so obviously my space is different it's a lot smaller I have a lot more people around um that can kind of walk in and out and make noise all of that stuff and also you know babies cry so um what i'm planning on doing is waking up around 5 45 i've already kind of talked to my family members about this and they're not unless they really have to they're not going to come into like my space until about like 7 30 so that i can get or uh, to like doing all the things that i need to do in the morning in terms of like my altar obviously in my apartment i had a more like complex one um this actually reminds me is very very similar to what my first altar looked like very simple just candles and incense and then my journal and that's just kind of how i'm feeling like i should have it that's my vision or the little 
um, insight that I got when I was meditating. So this is how I'm going to keep it. And I have the green candle burning right now. I've already used quite a couple of incense and I got this little incense holder from Target and it's actually really good. It actually holds the incense when it falls. So that is a rarity. This corner here is dedicated to my yoga practice. Obviously, I will roll up my mat because it's right next to the door and right next to the wall of shoes. But it is just enough space for me to be able to do my practice comfortably and do my meditations and everything like that. That's why that pillow is there so I can sit on it and be able to get zen. Um, because it's my lunch break and I'm about to take a fat nap like a fat nap I'm exhausted um, it's been a slow day at the office uh, today like really slow there is the trial that I mentioned last week it did start today um, but unfortunately we didn't get um, like seating in the courtroom because of how they're structuring the seating for a court due to the pandemic um, so it's like every other seat and if you're there to watch it's like every outside seat so it's really strange we tried our best to try and get them to let us seat like sit together because we're in the same office together we're breathing each other's air all the time but they said that in court we have to separate so that's a real bummer i'm super sad that i won't be able to see like the opening statements because i was super excited about that but hopefully tomorrow they'll have enough space they just had like you know witnesses that were there or victims that were there um that wanted to watch the trial which of course that's the right they deserve to be able to do that um so i do completely respect that um so hopefully tomorrow they'll have like some space for us but that is what is going on right now i'm gonna go on tiktok for a little bit i'm gonna take a nap um go back to work i have i was just given an assignment before i left for lunch which was a memo is the memo so i'm going to be writing that and then we're gonna head home i'm thinking we go to the gym we cook dinner and all that that stuff and yeah this was the fit for today this is the charger but this is the fit you know it's a little cold oh it was cold this morning now it's warm i'm hot but it's fine we look cute cute bitches don't get hot or cold <laughs> good morning friends it is now wednesday and we are running very very late very 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 late uh it's okay because i think the attorney that I'm with is busy right now anyway so he wouldn't have been able to like do anything with me and I have my own assignments um but yeah I was watching my niece all night like I had her overnight um because my sister just started work um so from like 1 a.m to 6 a.m I had the baby and let's just say um let me just remind you did you take your birth control today did you take your birth control today bestie I am just I just want to sleep <laughs> i had such a hard time getting up this morning um and i want some coffee but we don't have time to get some this morning um so hopefully at lunchtime we'll be able to grab some because today is just i'm gonna i'm gonna need it so badly if i could just inject it in my in my veins i would bit check Ooh. it answers all my questions you may program me in any way Okay, we are home for today. Um, I ended up staying a little bit later in the office than like everyone, I guess. Like I got up to leave for the day and I realized that there was literally no one in the office, but I was writing my memo. Um, we did get to go see the trial, which was really interesting. <laughs> I keep using that word, but I don't have a better word. I really don't. Um, we got to go in the morning because there were seats. Apparently there were seats yesterday, but they just had the seating arrangements like messed up or confused. I don't know. But I did miss the uh, witnesses testifying yesterday. And today I caught the second part of one of the witnesses testimony. And it was just like heartbreaking um, to watch that in real life. I will say that what you see on tv like the law and order all of that stuff when they do like cross examinations it's pretty much on the money or 
like on the dot or whatever it's correct <laughs> basically um it may be a little bit over dramatized depending on the attorney that's doing the cross examinations but it's pretty correct and that was surprising to me i mentioned law and order because this case was like a sexual assault case and what you see on the show where the defense tries to poke holes in the victim's stories exactly what happened here it is shocking when it happens on tv 10 times more shocking when you see it in real life and I don't know if I've said it but I've never watched like an actual trial before so it was just kind of like oh my god like this is like real life I know it's their job but it's just like oh my god this is real life and I think it made it a lot worse because it was like a teenager on the stand talking about their assault and uh, I can't even imagine the amount of strength and how traumatizing it is to go on the stand and be looking at someone who's allegedly allegedly uh, like traumatized you and assaulted you and have to say it over and over and over again to a bunch of strangers in a room and especially when you're being cross-examined and someone is trying to trying to discredit you as much as they possibly can and poking uh, holes in your story and pointing out every single thing that you may have said that you know may be inconsistent in every which way like I can't even imagine that basically it was tough to watch um, especially being someone who is a victim of something like that and my memory fails me all the time and seeing them try and like you know poke holes in his story and um, try and get him to admit that they couldn't remember this and this and that as a way to show weakness in the story it was so hard because you know half of the time that I when I remember stuff I just feel like I'm making stuff up to be honest and I've heard that this is common for a lot of people where you just feel like it's so bad and it's so shitty that you're just making stuff up and that's easier to deal with than having to actually deal with the fact that this may have happened to you or has happened to you don't know why I just said may uh but yeah it just kind of hurt and I did not go back after lunch I just stayed in the office and I continued to work on my memo because I just didn't I just yeah I understood the defense's reasoning for why they were arguing the way that they were arguing which is basically preying on the fact that there's a big misconception amongst people who have never been you know victims of sexual assaults where they feel like if you have gone through something like this and you don't remember it then something's wrong with you or you're lying that if something like this is so traumatizing you should remember like every single detail down to like I don't know what color I don't I don't even know like you just have to remember every single thing and obviously if you do a little bit of research when it comes to just trauma responses in general that's not true and just who would want to remember this like just to have like a peaceful life I feel like it just makes sense um to have like your for your brain to want to protect you basically and and forget this traumatic thing that happened to you so yeah tough day um i don't want to go to the gym but i feel like it'll be good for me right now um for my mental space and also for my body so and i just bought new gym clothes so i might go but i'm exhausted i'm so tired mm. You guys, look at the set. Look at the set. Do not walk to Forever 21. Run to Forever 21. Gallop to Forever 21. Because A, B, mm. home now and i leave early on thursdays i don't know if i said that and all of my pimples look really big because i just picked at them and i should have um but i leave work early on thursdays usually because i schedule things on thursdays like i said my school i think i said it last vlog but my school um is uh bugging me <laughs> about just like summer jobs for next year all this stuff so 
Thursdays and Fridays are the days where I schedule things like networking events, um, interviews, um, coffee chats, all of that stuff is I schedule it Thursdays and then Fridays. Today I don't have that today, but next week I will, and then the week after that, and the week after that, and the week after that, and the week after that. Um, so we're gonna be busy. I'm just home right now. At work today was interesting. I actually did not end up working on my memo like I thought I was going to be doing because we just spent all of our time at trial today. They mainly had like the expert witnesses come up. Um, so I think they had like a forensic, uh, I, I'm forgetting her title, but she was forensic something and she's in charge of um, interviewing kids um, when it comes to trauma. So she was talking about her interviews with the victims and they had the videos that she filmed when she was interviewing them play. What ended up being really like crazy to see and participate in was when we got into like the um, the courtroom, the attorney, the district attorney that was uh, and handling that case, uh, they were like bi like bickering with the uh, defense attorney basically for like at least 30-ish minutes in front of the judge and that was really interesting to see and funny like kind of calling it you know basically like dissing each other but in very legal terms and the judge is just kind of standing there like a parent and watching them as they're like kind of going back and forth and they're basically arguing about um some redactions that need to be made i think that the district attorney wanted to make and they're trying to get it together with the defense attorney and i guess the district attorney had changed some things and that ended up changing the pages of the document which is really important um because my district attorney basically had had me bait stamp the uh the forms and those are super important because when you refer back to something you say page number blah, blah 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 and then the whatever attorney knows where you are the judge knows where you are whatever um and that's really important because when you make your arguments and things like that you already have everything written down in terms of like the page numbers so when they got to court she changed some things i guess they had like she tried to contact him to talk about the redactions and everything it's just like they were just arguing <laughs> they were going at it that girl were fighting <laughs> so they ended up having to redact more things and she handed us like just randomly we're sitting there just watching them go at it and she comes and she hands um one of the other law clerks that i'm working with a, a flash drive and she's like i need you to go print this out i need 22 uh copies of each of these pages i need there was like two things uh there was a lot of printing so much paper i almost cried because you know like the planet um so we had to go up and print it all the like the judge was su getting super irritated because they were supposed to start at like i think nine 40 and they started around 11 30 because it took a while to get these things printed and then there was one thing that she wanted but she was like actually no i want this so he was just irritated the jury was irritated it was just it was just like crazy to see that trial like moment because usually when you see it on tv it, it, they usually have everything together by the time that they um start trial and that's usually how it goes but today that's kind of not how it went it's really kind of fun um to just kind of be walking around with like big packs packets of like memos and uh, transcripts um, to get to all of the our jurors uh, but that was super fun we also got to sit into this round lunch meeting that the office does the district attorney's office does and i guess it's when one attorney has like a case that he's handling and he wants uh the other attorney's opinion it's something they used to do informally and then i guess um one of the supervisors came in and decided to make it like a formal thing so they get together and the attorney makes a presentation of what the case is and presents it to all the other attorneys gets their input about you know what's the problem with these cases can we use these you know witnesses um the defendants all that stuff they just start talking all about it so we were just kind of sitting there and watching it and watching them talk about it it was an interesting case um it was actually really funny because obviously everything i'm doing has to do with criminal law and my criminal law professor um was awesome i loved him um he actually represented ted bundy um so when we were doing class uh, what he had us do was be on the side of the defense so every time i kind of hear a case now i'm very much programmed to think about all of the defenses that could come up with any of the you know any of the um charges that are being brought i'm thinking like of all of defenses he's a really great attorney obviously um so it's kind of interesting to be i keep saying interesting i'm so sorry it's kind of 
fun to be in that state of mind and to just hear like a charge and be like and hear the facts and be like oh this could be a really good defense here or blah blah, blah. and some of the things that I were think I was thinking was an issue that my uh district attorney that I'm under he kind of pointed out that this may be a problem and it's going to be based on reasonableness if you know the jury believes that he you know the um defendant did not really know what was going on with this case because he had to do with conspiracy uh, which is something that we touched on in class right now i'm about to cook myself some dinner i guess um i have poll at 8 p.m today so i'm gonna go i'm super excited i bought some knee pads um but i'm going to make some pasta so yesterday i made <laughs> this pasta right here and let me tell you guys uh this one sucks don't eat this I don't know where I saw this being recommended, but I want to fight whoever did that to me. Uh, it's disgusting. Obviously, I got it because it has a high protein count, um, but uh, it's it's gross. So yesterday, I went and I got bonza pasta, and I got this, which is like a type of bonza pasta, except it's lentils and not garbanzo beans. Um, and it has almost the exact same amount of protein, so tastes a lot better. So I'm going to be making this today for dinner and also making this uh, smoked apple and sage vegan sausage. This has like 23 grams of protein in it i think yeah so i redact what i said last time about it being kind of hard to get protein in it is hard to come up with things to cook when it comes to eating protein on a plant-based diet it's easier to just eat like you know like fruits and stuff like that and salads and things like that so it has been pretty fun to just find things and then just like make them It is now Friday. I'm crying because Grace just came out for fall. They came out on time this semester for some reason. Nobody asked for that. Um, and we're good. We're still not ten, top 10% 10 of the class. Uh, I'm crying because why did Torts betray me like this? I was like banking on Torts so hard um, and it totally betrayed me. Like I thought I understood Torts. Like you guys. I guess it's fucked towards, it's fucked civil procedures. <laughs> like, what is this? Um, surprisingly, the class that I got way above median in, way above median, con law. What the fuck did I write in con law that I didn't write in towards? Like, I, oh my God. I just, I don't understand law school. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. This shit sucks. Like. I don't understand. I was literally just crying. My sister's like, why are you crying? I was just like, you have a good GPA. Why are you crying? I'm like, I know, but ugh. It's so annoying. I tried so hard with Torts. Why is it the class that I try the hardest in, I always get like the lowest grade in, and then the class that I just like don't try as hard, Kala? What did I write? Anyway, y'all. Um, I am obviously going to go talk to my I think my boards professor is the one that I'm I, it's on site like I need to go talk to him um, when I get back to campus or whenever we can go back and look over our tests because that is not making sense to me and if it turns out that those 18 points you guys remember when I took the test and then I didn't realize that it was the there was another there's a third part of the test and I was like it's only 18 points and those are the ones that didn't get me the grade that I wanted in this class I don't know what I'm gonna do. I actually don't know because that would be my bad. But I refuse to take blame for it until I talk to this man. Uh, but con law, baby, I'm a con law scholar. Uh, per, <laughs> um, obviously better than I expected. Completely better than I expected. Above median, way above median. Doesn't make sense. Like I said, I've already freaked out about it. You guys have seen it. Um, property, as expected. As expected. Can't say nothing about that. <laughs> Can't even care about that. It was as expected. Um, my legal writing, they finally gave us our grades for that. That is uh, a lot better. Like, I think the last score that I got uh, for my trial brief helped so much. So we, we, we're good. Um, towards, like I said, we're good. 
but also were not good because I expected a lot better than that. Anyway, I'm gonna need y'all to uh, cross your fingers for me, send me some good vibes, some good juju, all of that stuff because I'm hoping that what I did this last semester was enough. I have a couple of things like in the works in terms of like firms and offers and blah 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 and potential offers and I'm hoping that the work that I put in for uh, this spring semester was enough to get them to want me <laughs> uh, more than they already do. So cross your fingers for me. I don't know if you need to cross your mama's fingers for me, your papa's fingers, your dog's fingers, uh, everything. Cross everything because I I'm gonna need all the juju y'all <laughs> on a related note I'm super glad that I was home to see my grades and that I've been going to therapy <laughs> um, because this uh, idea of just like I do great and then I have this like oh but it's not like up here like I look at my grades and I was like they're great I'm, I'm so happy with them and then I was like yeah but I'm not top 10% should I drop out like can I stop can I just, can I just stop? Anyway, I'm meeting up with my friend from undergrad, Lily. You guys probably saw her when I went to the goat yoga, I think in the last vlog. Is it in this vlog? That was in the last vlog. Uh, I haven't posted the last vlog yet, so I don't know. Um, but we're gonna go celebrate. She just finished taking her MCAT. She's planning on going to uh, medical school. She said she thinks she did great. Obviously, I just got grades back and I'm super excited. I'm ready to celebrate. Um, so we're gonna go to this drag uh, show. Happy Pride Month, by the way. You know, black and gay. <laughs> I'm just super excited that I actually looked at my grades. Everything is done. I'm a 2L. I'm officially a 2L. Put some respect on my name. He whispered in my ear and he pulled me all so close. He covered up my face. Good morning, y'all. It is saturday now obviously day after drag and drag the drag show was so fun obviously i don't i think i said it before but it was my first ever drag show and actually a couple of hours before we went my sister when she was pregnant she watched rupaul like a lot so i've never seen the drag show before never seen rupaul before so we watched a couple of episodes and before that i was thinking like what's the point of drag like why is it so fun you're basically just watching people like lip sync <laughs> um and then and like five seconds into the show I was like this is the best time of my life like <laughs> I have not had this much fun ever it was just like it was just a vibe it was honestly just a really great vibe so I just woke up actually two hours ago at 9 a.m. I had my first lesson for a my first ever like Buddhist course that I've ever signed up for it's from the center in LA because I just like I've said before I'm very much interested in Buddhism and Hinduism and I want to take the time that I have now to learn more so I'm taking courses um, and that was really interesting I think it's about Buddhist philosophy this is course three um, but they have course one and two you don't have to take you don't have to take each one of them like um in order but i will be taking course one and course two in july because i think they're starting again in july um but now i'm taking course three and today we just talked about some like um some buddhist views of like reality and like the world and that's what we're going to be like diving in on over the next couple of weeks um so now i'm just like filling up my water bottle I wanted to go to the gym then I realized I did Pilates yesterday and I'm super sore um, so I'm like I want to go and do some cardio um, but now I'm considering going to just do like I don't know a hike this bad boy right here she's from Amazon um, I will have it linked I've linked it in my Instagram it's super cool I saw it on TikTok of course and it's just like a bag it's awesome What noise you hear when you close your eyes, son? 